The 30s at this hour by 9 o'clock. Northwest wind of around 10 miles an hour. The actual air temperature close to 38, 43 at 11, 46 at 1 o'clock, and then high temperatures on average about 10 degrees colder or cooler than we were yesterday. We were in the 50s, and so today we'll be in the upper 40s, and the numbers will drop off quite a bit heading into uh, tonight. And they uh, will see some clouds increasing too. We're starting off with plenty of sunshine right now. As you can see, skies are pretty clear. We're at 36 degrees right now in the uh, Birmingham area, but we do have some spots that are close to freezing 32 in Coleman. We've got 31 in Haleyville, 34 in Tuscaloosa, flirting with freezing there in Anniston, some mid 30s currently in uh, Alabaster. So let's kind of take you through the, the next oh, 24 36 hours or so. This is at noon today and you can see we've got a lot of 40s on the map. 46 Birmingham, 48 Tuscaloosa. Here comes some clouds through the day and into this evening and you'll notice by seven o'clock this evening there may be a few sprinkles around and even over night tonight, maybe even mixing with a few flurries way up across northeast Alabama. But I think for most of us again, there'll be temperatures that'll be close to the freezing mark and this moisture may be overdone a little bit, but some patchy light rain or a few sprinkles are possible uh, as we head into early on the Friday morning and then heading through the day on Friday. That's when we're, we're going to see mostly cloudy skies. I, I do think it'll be a little bit of a chillier day to Friday with temperatures just a few degrees cooler. Most of us only getting into the mid 40s uh, on Friday and then you'll notice heading into Friday night and early Saturday we'll get some additional moisture coming in. There could be a few snowflakes mixed in, but I think the highest likelihood of seeing that happen will be up across the north and northeastern corner of the state where first of all elevations a little bit higher and where moisture looks to be a little more plentiful there up kind of closer to Scottsboro and uh, into uh, Fort Payne, DeKalb and Jackson counties. For us, we may see a few flurries or snowflakes flying, but for most of us that will not be the case. Dry Saturday, much of the day Sunday looks dry and then heading into New Year's Eve night, it looks like we could see maybe a little patchy light rain start to arrive with as some showers possible on New Year's Day. So 40s today, Friday and Saturday, pretty cold during the mornings. Here comes a chance for some rain again, maybe starting before midnight or I should say uh, after midnight on the Sunday, early Monday morning. And then you'll notice we'll keep those colder than average temperatures through a good portion of next week. Carla?